Next is from Jared Smith. Subject is Goldberg's A&E biography. Hey guys, just got finished watching Goldberg's A&E biography and two things stood out. Is there any truth that Goldberg wanted to be tased with the real taser for the Starcade 98 finish? Also, Bret Hart mentioned that the concussion he got was not so much from the kick from Goldberg, but from a botch figure four ring post spot where Goldberg caused Bret to fall on his head. What's your take on this? Thanks as always. Um, I, I've, never, I've never heard that. I've always heard the Brett, the, the, Brett, the kick was what knocked Brett silly, but I think what exacerbated it was Brett working after that and get made it worse. Okay, yeah, okay. I, I actually <laughs> saw this show he's talking about. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because they've been doing a whole block of WWE every Sunday for the last Fair. month. And they'll have like rivals, legends. Can you right. believe who the legends were this week? Who? The oh, Bella the Bellas, Twins. Yeah, yeah, I Bellas, do not yeah. consider them legends. Yeah, but they probably – but they could – but let me tell you something. That Divas show drew numbers. I bet you they're trying to draw numbers. You know, because of, because the girls well, obviously, obviously girls, they 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 girls put them on. Right. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, that's what I thought because I was right. like, they're not legends to me. But anyways, and uh, so I watched the Goldberg one, and Goldberg did say on the show that he wanted to be tasered for real. If he was going to lose his first fight, he wanted to be tasered for real. I, I completely did not. I was involved in this. because He was, said it. He said it in the show. I was involved in this finish. Yeah. I don't remember this. Yeah. I and, do not remember this. I, I, I would. And on the same. Think. And let it, me, I'm going to put, put my memory hat on here and try, and try and remember. Was Hall telling me that he thought Goldberg was crazy? That, that might be true. I just don't remember the, 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 the details of this. And because other, he took the he hit me with the taser and I took like a big bump back. Yeah. Okay. So it's like you know. Uh, so, but maybe that was in a different different match that led up to. But uh, I, I don't uh, I don't know. But he'd be he'd be crazy to want to actually be tased. That's that's you know. He was a little bit crazy though. <laughs> so it's like you know, bro. He would no lie. I'm surprised he hasn't got lung cancer. Okay. Because when he would come out for yeah. his entrance, he would breathe in. The pyro smoke, right, and breathe it out his nose, <laughs> which is not healthy. By any like, like I, you couldn't find a doctor that, that would tell you that you should be doing that. That's a high risk of lung cancer. And he did like every single match, you know. So he was like, he was very intense, you yeah, know. So, now during that show, he did bring that up too about the, the the thing he said that uh, Bret Hart said it. Bret Hart mm-hmm. said that, and they actually showed the spot where. He put the figure four on him in the corner, and he told him, hold on to my leg when I apply the figure four because I'm going to go on my back. And he didn't hold on to his leg, so all his weight came down, boom, and he hit his head. And he said he was f***ed up from right there, and then the kick just f***ed him up even more. Right, like a double win. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. That's what, yeah right, right, okay, yeah, so – yeah, um, and he just kept saying, "And Goldberg, you could tell he was still mad." He goes, "I would never hurt nobody. I can't believe that he thinks I would hurt him." And Bret Hart goes, "I only asked him for one thing: don't hurt me." And that's the first thing he did. Right. Yo, what up? This is Conan, and I host Keeping It One Hundred with my co-host Disco Inferno. Unfortunately, well, I'd say you're my co-host. Listen, every Thursday here on Spreaker, we talk pro wrestling, sports, movies, music, TV, pop culture, and some politics. It's everything the rest of the pro wrestling podcasts are not. Tune in to hear myself, the superior one, educate and inform. Tune in to hear me bury disco. That's very disrespectful. Join us every Thursday on Spreaker and keep it 100. Boom!